London. Expensive but affordable, <laughs> if there's such a thing. Welcome back, welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. Habiba here, I have a whole shopping and try on haul, lots of good stuff and I can't wait to show you. And I know it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> so we have clothes, I have some lotions, I have a luxury cream, I have boot coats as well. And I know it's like, coming to the end of winter why are you shopping now for winter stuff because girl this is the time to do it i'm going to show you how much cool stuff i got because you get the best deals at the end of the winter however a lot of the stuff will work well into the spring Ooh, i can't wait for you to see so come on let's get started first things first i have the lotion let's start with bath and body you can, at least at this time, you can get like three lotions for, oh my God, I spent $70, but technically it would have been $20 less. They had a special for $16.95 for two, $16.95 each, and then you could get the third for free. We have some Japanese blossom and we have this one uplifting boost uplifting boost negroli blossom and bergamot are the notes ultimate hydration body cream with shea butter and hyaluronic acid you know no one wants to be ashy going into the spring actually no one wants to be ashy in the winter either this one is golden mango lagoon and um the lady explained to me, sometimes I buy them in the bottle and she explained the difference. The ones in the tubes are thicker and I tend to have dry skin so I wanted the thicker versions and I wanted something that I could pop into my handbag. So um, yeah, this one I really, really like. Let's see. Now, I haven't had a manicure so don't judge me. <laughs> my nails look pretty basic. I contemplated getting my nails done, but I was like, girl, me and you, we're tight like that. We're real. I do too much. I don't need my nails done. <laughs> I like to feel my fingers. Oh my God. This feels so luxurious. So nice. So luxurious. So soft. Mmm like expensive perfume so yeah i really like this japanese cherry blossom it's not tested on animals and it's vegan made without parabens or artificial dyes leaves your skin feeling soft smooth and replenished <laughs> next we have this from joe malone joe malone london i love the products of course it's like a little bit of luxury their items are pretty, I don't know, expensive but affordable, <laughs> if there's such a thing. Expensive and affordable. Oh, she packed it really well, really nice. Myrrh and Tonka body cream, a little sample. And what's the receipt? And a little sample perfume wood sage and sea salt cologne oh another sample perfume this one is nectarine blossom and honey cologne nice anyway how much was this uh 92 dollars 92 dollars for the contents of this box it's actually quite heavy quite heavy is nice I don't remember what it smells like so which one did I get it smells very like fresh pear Very refreshing. English pear and freesia body cream. Nice. And if you're a man watching this video, just know that your wife would appreciate 
um, this particular brand. So they have so many different scents, different, yeah, different scents, different perfumes. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep the box, but I'm going to take the lotion out because I want to be able to use it. The box is cute. <laughs> a gift within a gift. I'm happy to try the new sample scents. I already have Wild Blueberry by Jo Malone and love it. I also ordered some boots from Macy's online. I really wanted some cute boots that were very comfortable because I'm not really a sneaker girl. And this is really the best time of year to get it. It's been like damp and cold sometimes. Anyway, I wore them to this restaurant. Uh, we tried Arepa. This is like Colombian food. And I also wore it to Target. And these shoes are super comfy or these boots. I love the wedges and I love the fact that there's this buckle. It has a zipper on the side. I have these other cute boots, leather boots. But lately I still gravitate towards the wedges because they're a lot more comfortable. So these boots aren't new. You've probably seen them before. These are the snake print boots. I love the chunky heel. You know, it's kind of high, but it's not bad. Anyway, I just wanted to remind you, they usually have inserts in them. You know, when you take them out the box, save those inserts because they keep your boots kind of structured and keep them upright. But anyway, this is really the best time to buy boots at the end of the winter. But I also decided to get me some shoes inspired by, I don't know, summer or spring. And I can't wait to see what you think. <laughs> They're a little extra. Typically, I don't really wear loud shoes, even though those snake boots are kind of loud a little bit. But they're kind of neutral, too. These are giving 70s platform, right? <laughs> 7454 Is that good? Or was that bad? $74.54. I don't know. Not bad. They make me smile. A little bit of summer, a little bit of spring. Are they too much? Okay. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> Can't wait to open her. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Wow, there is so much packaging. There is so much packaging. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this chain. I love the weight, I love the color of it. It's got this kind of brassy gold look and it's gonna look so good on this bag. What, what? Look at the top handle, look at the uh, chain and look at the crossbody strap. So you get three options and lots of compartments. So even though this bag is small, she is mighty. And yeah, I love her. And of course it comes with a dust bag, so. I can keep her nice and safe and clean. So I actually bought myself that black bag before Christmas, but never bothered to open it. But this bag that you're looking at, <laughs> I bought recently because I wanted something that was like every day that I could just, you know, fling back and forth and not worry about. And it's a Michael Kors. I mean, it's designer, but it's not exactly luxury, right? So, yeah, but she's cute and she holds everything I need. So this is basically my everyday bag. And I think it cost me, yeah, the price is there, $198. Um, I also did this online. So see, you can wear it over the shoulder or you can wear it crossbody. I mean, it's nothing too flashy, but it goes with different outfits and it will look fine, casual, and it looks fine with this floral dress too. So yeah, I did not buy all of these things in one day. So don't even think that. I am very responsible. <laughs> and I just wanted you to see the size comparison, you know, with the black bag. 
Yeah, I absolutely adore that black bag. But yeah, you see my lotion, my stuff all fits into that um, little Michael Kors bag. I also really like bags that you can carry on your back or backpack bags and this is one of my older ones and it comes in handy when I travel or if I have like camera equipment but this one's kind of beat up so I really need to replace it. Um, yeah I also have this one with the Obamas on it but I think of this as a collector's. I don't actually use it anymore. Um, I love I love looking at the pictures and the magazine covers of the Obamas on here. It's quite roomy and yeah, I'm just gonna keep this. I've had it for a couple of years. It was like $50. I bought it in South Carolina at a beauty shop. So to replace my black beat up backpack bag, I got one in my favorite color. What color do you think that is? <laughs> of course, yellow. And when I saw this yellow, I was just so happy so happy this yellow is so nice it's very like pastel yellow um, and this is from kate spade and it wasn't that expensive i mean i think it was a little over a hundred dollars and i also bought this online So this bag is definitely smaller than my black bag that I showed you first, but it definitely still holds quite a bit and it just makes me feel so cheerful. So while I was filming this haul for you guys and thinking that I was done with the bags, Kenton walks in and says, oh, you're not done with the bags. I'm like, yes, I'm done. He's like, you're missing one. Is that a hey, you, you left the bag. Outside. So a couple of weekends ago we were at the mall and I saw this coach bag that I liked. I picked it up but I looked at the price and I was like no it's a little too expensive. So I put it down. Kenton was like do you want it? I'll get it for you. I said no 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 no. We can't afford it right now. We don't need to be spending that kind of money right now so no let's go. So we left the store but it turns out he must have went back and bought the bag. So that's what this is. Dropped off a bag outside. I picked it up on the way in. <laughs> You gotta stop dropping bags in the street. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it has a long strap. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, wow. Oh my God. I was genuinely surprised that Kenton had gone back to the store to get me this bag because I honestly had forgotten about it. You know, I had just thought, well, it's a little bit much. I don't need that bag. But anyway, I love this bag because I really don't have a nice red bag and I love the hardware and I love the fact that it comes with this top handle so you can wear it as an evening bag or you can wear it in the daytime. And I also love that it has this wide crossbody strap so yeah, I really, really appreciate it. And I like the brass and gold kind of toned hardware because I really like wearing gold jewelry. Um, even though I do wear a lot of silver also during the summertime and spring. So isn't she cute? That was really nice of him. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this, right? Hmm. This bag will also look really good with black. And you notice this is a long strap and I'm not a thin girl. <laughs> and it works. Okay, who's ready to see the outfits I got? The coats I got, ooh! This first coat is from ASOS and this is my first time shopping with them. And so I wasn't sure, so I ended up buying a size bigger than my regular size but I really like it and the quality is a lot better than I expected. It's lined on the inside. The coat is quite heavy, so I know it's gonna keep me warm. It has a long belt and the bottom opens up, so I just have to open that part up. So I'm gonna try it on. Let's see what you think. It's a double-breasted coat, as you can see. I could tie it a lot tighter though, but I don't know. Not bad, not bad, even though I'm wearing like, you know, silk pajamas underneath. I like the collar and oh my God, it's quite warm. Anyway, I have changed so I can see what it looks like properly in real clothes or proper clothes. I'm gonna tie the belt to the back because I don't like tying it around my waistline. And let's see what this looks like. What do you think? 
I am feeling myself clearly. I'm feeling good. You know when you put on something and you just know you look cute? We got our coat on. Let's grab our handbag. We got our boots on and we are looking sharp. <laughs> sharp, my dear. Now you will never guess how much this coat cost because it is not what you think. I will tell you later. The second coat is also from ASOS, and I'm sure you know ASOS is not considered designer, but I just thought I would include it because these are things I bought at the end of the winter season, or almost the end of the winter season, and it was a good deal. But look, she is huge. I am immediately regretting my choice of size. <laughs> Will this work? Is this too big? Will this work? What do you think? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. And clearly it needs to be not really ironed, but maybe steamed. Okay, we fixed it up a little bit, you know. And I did see on the website they're wearing a lot of the clothes oversized. But certainly this coat is hot. So if I were really cold, this coat would do its job. So I'm not sure. I was like, you know, maybe should I return it? It's a little oversized, too much. But then I'm like, well, on a practical level, it really is going to do its job. So I can't be bothered to send it back. But let me know what you think. Should I send it back and get one size down? Or do you think the oversized look, oversized look works? What do you think? I think these boots would work too. I asked you to guess how much you thought the coats were or how much I paid for it. Well, look, there it is above. Um, the receipt, <laughs> the black coat, which came from the Curve line, Curve formal wrap coat with tie belt in black was $160. I think that was amazing, very good. But look at the brown coat. The brown coat was only 64 US dollars. So my total was $240 for both coats. I think that is amazing. And these are heavy, warm coats. So, you know, next winter, I am not buying a coat. <laughs> I have enough coats now and I'm not even done. I have another coat to show you. But yeah, isn't that price really good? Let me know what you think. Okay, before I put on the next coat, I'm just gonna go ahead and change my boots to something less formal. I will put on the wedge heel boots because they're super comfy. Okay, this is a fun coat, but I'm kind of nervous because it looks huge. And it's only a size 18, US 18 and UK 22, but it looks really big. <laughs> uh, you silly. Pimpin' style, huh? Oh my God, you showed a leg. <laughs> oh, you don't care, huh? Yeah, I do care. You can show that. I'm totally showing no, it. Not it's not porn. It's not porn. Kenton, it's not porn. Anyway, let me see you. If it's so big on you, how the hell is it going to look on me, though? I don't have breath. It looks huge. It's comfortable. No, it's not that big. No, it looks huge. I might have gotten it a size one or two big. <laughs> you like how it feels. <laughs> it is. It's like a big, it's like a big blanket. Oh my it lord! Not like a, no tie. Yeah. Uh, no. It's yeah. It was just a fun piece. Oh, I, I thought. A little hook here. Pretty a little thing. <laughs> yeah, Ken, take it off. So you see how this coat from Pretty Little Thing fits Kenton, right? So I'm afraid it's going to swallow me up, okay? And I know it's going to be hot because it's heavy. So I'm going to pull my hair up because I just don't want to be too hot right now. Let's try her on. I am doubtful. <laughs> but as soon as I put it on, I feel amazing. Look at that. Look at that. It's a whole vibe, man. It's a whole vibe. Oh my goodness. I feel like a different person. What? What? It's like total different energy. Who is this girl? Who is she? <laughs> she can't talk to me, man. This coat has me feeling some kind of way and it's amazing. Even with it closed, look at how much room I have. That's, that's a lot of room. This is for a much bigger girl, but it's okay. 
It's okay. We can rock it. It's okay. Hey, what should we call this alter ego? Eh? What should we call her? Eh? Look at her. Hey. <laughs> No, seriously, I need a name for her. She's a whole different person. This is not Habiba, the conservative Habiba who went to medical school. No, she's going to give you one shoulder. Do you see the one shoulder? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She's having too much fun with this damn coat. Oh, Lord. I need to get back to the rest of this haul. Y'all, if you watch up to this point, you better thumbs up. You better thumbs up. I bought this jacket from Lane Bryant for under $100. So this is a leather jacket. But before you get upset, it's vegan leather. <laughs> and it's well made, really high quality considering it's vegan leather. Um, it's plus size. I got the size 1820 initially. And I was so upset because it was so big. And so I returned it and ended up buying a 1416 and the shipping was super fast really fast because i was just really afraid to return something and then have to rebuy it because you know they don't do exchanges but anyway the process was really easy and i love this jacket because when i was younger i used to wear leather jackets a lot but since i had kids and got older i stopped but she's back she's back <laughs> Now, there's nothing luxurious about these jeans, but I figured I'd include them. I got them from my local Target for $20, something like that. And then I got this sweater for $6.95. I could not believe it. End of season, time to shop, end of winter. $6.95 for this whole extra, extra large sweater because I wanted it oversized. But then my fupa was trying to embarrass me. So I did not like the way it was looking. <laughs> so I'm going to put on this sweater with a skirt because I'm more of a skirt person, really, you know, until I get that tummy tuck, which I'm hoping every time you thumbs up and you like, you're going to help me pay for the tummy tuck I plan to get. Okay, stop ranting, Habiba. So the sweater looks good with the skirt, does it not? It looks good. And I'm telling you, for $6.95, I can't beat that. Which sweater do you have for $6.95? <laughs> I really need to stop this bad Nigerian accent. Okay, so seriously, I got this nice black flutter dress. And this dress was not cheapo. This came from Lane Bryant too, I believe. And, you know, we're going into spring. You're probably thinking a black dress for spring. Why not? Just go ahead and add some white accessories and you look like a whole madame, a whole belle lady, <laughs> ready to enjoy the spring or summer. So that was my other coach bag that I got last summer. And you see the white earrings. And, I mean, it looks good, right? Black is not just for the winter, so I plan to wear some black during the summer and during the spring. I like this dress because it can be formal depending on what accessories you wear or you can make it casual. It ties at the waist, it has pockets, it has these flutter sleeves and it's flattering. I added the shoes, the chunky shoes, but I wasn't sure. I feel like it needs something more, you know, like sandals or less chunky and then i'm adding the chain to my white coach bag and i think it's a whole look it looks put together um yeah see there's the chunky shoes again i think it's not right so i'm using these shoes instead which are a little lighter anyway with a jeans jacket i could definitely see wearing this dress in the spring and or on a cool day or cool night in the summer so i think black looks really nice with jeans and, uh, you know, the accessories. So let's try the leather jacket. <laughs> black on black and black bag to match. And then I had this wonderful idea to use the chain from my bag, you know, the chain, the handle from my bag as a necklace. Let's see how this looks because honestly, it looks like a jewelry piece. It really looks like a jewelry piece, and I think it goes well with this leather jacket. What do you think? Ah! <laughs> what do you think? It's a whole vibe, right? And then you got to add your handbag to finish off the look. Next, we're going for an elegant look. 
maybe a little bit more classy. We've got the high heel boots. We've got the dress. We've got the bag. My hair is pulled up in a bun. Same dress, right? But it just has a different vibe. And it's giving, I don't know, successful lawyer, successful doctor, successful entrepreneur. <laughs> boss actually maybe it does look better with the waistline yeah what do you think maybe it does look better cinched at the waist because it gives me a little bit of shape instead of just the straight down yes darling <laughs> nice to meet you <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and definitely a thumbs up for Kenton for showing up in this video, right? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing all the stuff, you know, and life is not about stuff, but sometimes it does make us feel a little bit more joy and it's just nice to do something for yourself especially when you do so much for other people so anyway don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I look forward to your comments rate the outfits again rate the outfits what did you think one through ten one being worse ten being best which did you like I'd like to hear and also how you would have styled it differently um, you know some of us have apple shaped bodies some of us have pear shaped bodies and sometimes clothes just look different on us but in all I really think all the items I showed would look really nice on anybody and they're classic pieces uh, classic pieces that I know will last me a long long time so again thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon bye Ha, 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 ha.